With my data, I want to draw two line plots. I want specifically to have this set of data be one line and this next set of data to be another line. And yes, you'll see that I am currently still in my spreadsheet because I thought it was interesting to see what happened when I selected this data and I inserted a line graph. First of all, it covers up my data, which I find a little bit annoying. And what it did is it actually drew both my X and my Y as each one as a series, rather than having a coordinate pair for each X and Y data point. And despite some effort, I couldn't quite get this to plot the way that I wanted. Now, of course, my, my goal here is to show you how to do things in data graph, but I thought this was really interesting how such a simple thing did not turn out to be so easy for me. So let's go over here into data graph and do a similar thing. When we're selecting data to plot here though, we're not gonna select a range of data. You're going to click on a column header and that selects the entire column. Now hold the shift key and I'm going to select this Y column as well. And to plot this, you'll notice that in my header, I have a symbol that looks like a little line that says plot underneath. So sure enough, if I click that, now I get a graph with two lines plotted. And the other thing that happened is this object was added into the user interface. This is what we call our plot command. Since I had the data already pre-selected, it went ahead and populated what is my X and what is my Y, but these are actually menus that I can easily select from if I wanted to change which column was there. I have a line style here that I can change. I can also add points here if I like. Uh, there's a tile that I can change the line color for if I want a different line color or if I can keep it black. And then over here on the right hand side, you have a slider for increasing the size of the line and a slider for increasing the size of the points, all very interactively. Finally, I'll just point out this last thing that you see, a hide and exclude button. So if I hide this from view, it still shows me the axis region, it just doesn't draw the data, but if I exclude it completely, it's kind of like deleting it without actually having to delete it. So that can be kind of handy when you're playing around with your graph and what elements you're going to include. So first thing here that I really want to show you, though, is a, is a little bit about annotating the graph, because this is also one of the things that I think is really nice about using data graph is it's not only the graphing that you can do here, but you can do annotation of your graph because I want to label each one of these lines. And sure enough, if you look in the toolbar, there is a a, an option for a label. When you click on this, it actually brings up this other menu where you can see a list of all of these different commands that are related to annotation. Some of these commands you will see in the main toolbar by the default that we have. Legend, for example, is one of the options in the main toolbar, uh, but these other ones here are not there by default. Uh, I want to here add two labels, one for each line. So I'm going to go ahead and click this twice. That added two more objects into my, uh, into my, <laughs> my, my graph here. Um, each one of them are set into the middle of the graph and I can actually click them and drag them and move them around. You can click on the text of the label and move that to where you would like it to be oriented. And I can click this and have it snap to a point on my line. And I can do the same thing for this one here. Now to type in the text for my label, I can do that in two different places. I can type it in on the command itself. You see how there's a text box. Uh, first of all, I want to confirm which label this is. Is it the top one or the bottom one? Again, if I use my hide, this is a really handy way to see, okay, this object is representing this one down here. Also, actually, if you click on them, it will highlight the um, command that it corresponds to up in the, the object itself. And if I want to check, well, what point is this? Uh, what line, what group of data does this correspond to? I can right click on my point and say, select point in table. 
that's going to highlight for me this row within my data table. So I can go back and forth between my data, my graph, my commands. Um, and it's really nice that my graph is not covering my data in any way. So anyway, so to enter this now, let's go ahead and just type in the, the word control. I can also edit these by just double clicking directly on the text within my graph to type here. Now for this one, actually, rather than retyping it, I have it typed here. I can go over to my data table, right click over this uh, text, and you'll see how it says copy experiment. So I can copy that text. I can go over here, and now I can just paste that right in. There we go. Uh, so, so there we have. We have a simple plot. We've added two labels and our data is represented exactly the way that we want it to be.